Virgos, welcome. This is your heart spread read for January 2022. It's a love, romance, and relationship reading. And this week, we're looking at you here with the Page of Pentacles energy and your person. Oops, Seven of Swords energy over here. You could be de dealing with an air sign here. Uh, Virgos, uh, think sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, but, you know, this reading is uh, another one of these readings come up lately. It's uh, it's not very subtle. It's very direct. And thank you, Spirit. And usually, to me, that means that the message uh, really wants to come through. And I always think this is the message from your own guides and angels, however you believe in that, um, is really what's being picked up on here. But this is the classic sword in this position of uh, lie, lies and betrays, betrayals and, and cheating. And, um, you know, it's you have two of the cards here with the seven of swords and the three of swords. Are unfortunately, kind of the iconic cards that almost mean tarot these days. So that's your person's energy in and around love, romance and relationships, strategic thinking on their part. Lies, betrayal, um, these kind of things often you won't see. You might feel them, but typically when this goes on, um, this is something done that you, you will never see it. Now, on the contrary, you come in to this relationship, Virgo, with this page of pentacles. And one thing that stands out about a page of pentacles above all else is sincerity. It's a very sincere energy, a very humble energy. Um, so when you present yourself to this relationship, you were completely sincere and this person is moving into this reading. So you were actively moving into the reading. Now, what your person is doing, they're moving into the reading too, but it's almost as if you could say from the moment you make contact, uh, they're already thinking strategically. Uh, often you see this as a protective energy. Things that have gone on in their past, you know, leave them with the, that they're not resolved. And of course, they're going to bring that into this relationship. Any relationship, important to realize, you just happen to be there. Now, the good thing about the page of Pentacles, it's pretty clean. You know, that's coming into relationship pretty clean. It's new energy. It's sincere. Um, it's um, prepared to go for the long haul, um, maybe wanting to move a little bit slow. And it could actually represent a Virgo, so particularly a younger Virgo energy um, could be showing, say that you're showing up in your own reading. Whenever I see someone showing up in their own reading, it already says to me the reading here is going to really be about you, more so than about the relationship. Now this is the number two position, number three position, I'm sorry, and this shows your reaction to your person here, Virgo. Now, just look at that card. I mean, you have to know anything about uh, tarot. If that's how you're reacting to your person, how are you reacting? Well, you're cutting them off here. I mean, you're cutting them off with, with your words, to be clear, and your communication, okay? Air energy. Now, the way they're reacting to you, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, Virgo. So it's after this energy of strategic thinking, and uh, all the stuff they're bringing when they come to you they are saying that they're all in they'll be acting like they're all in here um, pentacles this actually meets your energy pretty good with the page of uh, pentacles here but i feel as though coming with the seven of swords it's as if they're gauging you and then reacting to you the way that they feel you want to be reacted to in this relationship based upon the seven of swords which is a deceptive mental energy clearly here you are rebuffing them now your advice from spirit in this relationship towards this person which frankly this relationship to me is is ending so the whole reading shifts to really it's advice for you because all of these teach us about ourselves all about our soul's path is how we grow um, so there really are no failures. But this is advice from spirit, and it's the hanged man. So it's time to take a step back and uh, remove yourself from this person, okay? 
and perhaps from any influence, you really want to, this is giving yourself time to process things, um, time to get closure, and it's closure within yourself here, because I think you've already made a decision, you know, um, you have this um, page of swords here showing up with your page of pentacles, and shows you're clearly making a decision to cut things off here. Um, and now you just need some time to kind of digest this. The advice from spirit coming under this uh, night of pinnacles for your person, if you're cross-watching for a Virgo, I think you're well aware of this, um, the classic card that means tarot, the three of swords, the broken heart. And I think that it, in the advice position, um, it's kind of spirit trying to tell you, you just have to deal with this. This is a part of life. Um, it doesn't leave a lot of hope, in, and sometimes the best thing to do is to deal with our feelings and feel them and take the hit and move on. There's really uh, not any other choice. Now, the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole, which really becomes your advice, it could be the advice of the cross watcher if they're there, of the Virgo, but that's the fool card. And this is, a, you're going to be starting a whole new cycle here. And this is around love, romance, and relationships, okay? And um, it's, uh, this relationship, I think, what was learned from it, and it could be what's learned from it, from the cross watcher as well, uh, because it's always what's going on, uh, is kind of really refining for you what it is that you don't want in a relationship and the, you could look at the fool card here as the spirit saying, look, just start over. You know, open a page, get a blank page, and start over. You don't have to carry any of this stuff with you. The fool leaps off the cliff. Think about the fool. People are always telling the fool, are you crazy? You can't do that. That's not going to work. It's dangerous. What are you doing? The fool doesn't listen, okay? So this is advice from spirit. Don't listen to anyone else. Follow your heart. If you want to jump off the fucking cliff, jump off the cliff, you know? What the hell? What's life for? Now, interesting with this reading, you have the devil here in the outcome. And I think what this shows is this was a relationship for you um, that was ended up being a toxic relationship and involving um, issues of codependency. Um, and I think that spirit's way of kind of summing up for you. I was thinking about clarifying that, but I, I really don't want to now. I don't feel like I need to now. We, we also have the Capricorn energy. It represents Capricorn. Obviously, this is happening during the, the Venus and Pluto conjunction. The elephant in the room right now, astrologically, in this amazing uh, Venus retrograde, so it's going to be emphasizing this, all of this energy. And this is what I think you're working through here and resolving because your advice from spirit is the fool. So, you know, and also don't be afraid of this energy. This can also be shadow side stuff that comes up uh, because all of that, all of this is part of the experience of learning and growing through this relationship. And it's going to put you in a position where you can really... Um, start over in a fresh way with a clean slate so to speak with a white page and and then you can fill it out any way that you want uh, because i think now you're going to understand uh, maybe call this a graduate school for you in codependency and toxic relationships and you know that's what you won't have to carry with you that's a good reason jump off the cliff right there Leave that shit up off the off above telling you you're crazy and go ahead and take the jump, Virgo. So thank you, guys. I hope you appreciate that. I hope it resonates. Do leave a comment. I appreciate your comments. Try to respond. Like helps a lot. You smash that. Tells the AI to help me get this passed along. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I am open to personal reading, so hit me up. Thank you, guys.